Okay, there we go. Hi everyone, welcome to the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures Combat Webcast. I am Tiffany Spence, known as M. Neris, and I'm the Community Manager of Clone Wars Adventures. Joining me today are, introduce yourselves. Uh, I'm Justin Bizet, also known as uh, Mord on the forums. I am the content, or head content guy for the game. And, um, I'm Matthew Sherman, I'm Order 66 on the forums. I'm a uh, artist on the team, uh, do animation, technical art, and some effects stuff. Awesome. Order 66. Yep. Aww, so sad. Yeah, right. <laughs> so Great. today we're going to talk name. about the Felucia <laughs> Combat Zone, which we've been teasing out on the forums for the last several weeks, more than a month, really. Uh, yeah, screenshots I think we've been putting up for almost a month yeah. now. So I know everybody's really excited about it, and yep. I did a little bit of research, so I was going to share this with everybody in case they're not familiar with Felucia. Please do. Felucia, as according to Wikipedia, which is um, the wiki of site run by the really expert, expert Star Wars fans, yep. Felucia is described as a fungus-covered, fairly inhospitable planet, which was a major stronghold for the Confeder Confederacy of Independent Systems during the Clone Wars. It's been featured in a handful of the episodes of the show. We've also already had it in game as the Felucia housing lot, mm -hmm. and it's been featured in a few of our mini games as scenery or an environment that you observe. Yes. So this will be correct. the first chance people really get to go out and be a part of Felucia aside from the housing. Aside from the housing lots, yeah. They're, they're, I mean, this is going to be a whole different experience. So. It's really, it looks really cool. I haven't yes. actually gone in and run around because I like to experience <laughs> it with the players when I can. So. Totally. Let's go ahead and start talking about the combat zone, though. Um, the first thing we want to talk about is how you get into Felucia. Uh, that's a good question, because we actually changed a few things up uh, with respect to actually getting to a combat zone. So in the past, you would be able to go to the mini games menu, mm -hmm. uh, among other places, to get to different combat zones. Right. With this update, we're actually moving the mini game combat zones, uh, or the combat zones, off of the mini game mm -hmm. menu. So in order to get somewhere, you're going to have to go to a galaxy map terminal okay. or go speak with uh, Breaker in the Jedi Temple hangar. Mm -hmm. And there are still recruiters that are placed around the Jedi Temple that will now lead you to Felucia. Awesome. Um, they're in different gear, so you'll, you'll actually recognize them. Um, but the difference is, is that we're not going with uh, a minigame-esque logo, right. so there won't be a logo for it. It's okay. simply the planet of Felucia. So that's good to know. And the players that have listened to this today, make sure you share with your friends when they log in and go, how do I get there? Yeah, the clones are now actually called uh, Felucia recruiters. So right. when you see them, they're dressed in the uh, the dark, uh, the kind of brown dirt colored armor, okay. which is uh, which is what they're all wearing on Felucia because it blends really well. That'll be easy to spot. And they don't want to get shot. So. It looks like we're looking at some screenshots as we go as well. Mm -hmm. So yep. some of these screenshots, probably the first uh, seven or so, some of the players have already seen if they've been watching they have, forums yeah. or our yep. Facebook page. I've posted some or of them Or my photo Facebook. bucket. Yes, uh, those that stopped here. they discovered that, which, which is fine. They're which so is clever. Because yeah, yeah, I only upload once they go there. But, yep. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, next question is, do the players need to be in a particular battle class or a battle class rank to be a part of Felucia? Uh, they won't need to be in a particular battle class, mm -hmm. but they are going to need to be a particular battle class rank. Okay, um, that's good to know. So, yeah, it, it would be the eighth rank, which uh, for some reason I, I should have brought it all. I think it's Adept 1. Gosh, I don't know off the top of my head the names I'm of sure the ranks, they know. But yeah, I, I know they will know. And in <laughs> fact, it's going to be in the release notes, and it's going to be um, when you get there, if you are not of the proper rank, mm -hmm. um, Trooper Parsec is the first guy you're going to see, and he's going to have a quest that's going to tell you what rank you need to be Great. and uh, about the, the shield door that's up if you aren't the right rank. So you, you will need to be of a particular rank. Yeah. Good to know. Okay. Yeah. So if you're not that rank yet, you have tonight to play? Yeah, get, get start, uh, grinding. Gain, <laughs> start grinding, gain some XP. You're actually going to, um, th there, there's a whole new tier of toughness that you're going to mm -hmm. reach when you get to that point as well. So. Yeah, you've been hinting at that on the forum. Yes, so yep. Interested to see how hard it's going to be. <laughs> uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. I saw, I was reading earlier a thread where the players are organizing groups already. Like they're preparing to go in and pre-organizing. They're going to need them. Yeah. They honestly are. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Um, so tell us a little bit about what they're going to be doing on Felucia. Um, the zone uh, consists of, <laughs> Rancor. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the zone uh, essentially there's going to be a variety of daily quests available to them. Okay. Uh, and uh, they are going to be participating in these daily quests. Um, Non-members have uh, 
two different NPCs they can speak with to mm -hmm. pick up their dailies, whereas members will have a total of three different uh, NPCs that they can speak to to pick up their daily tasks. And there's a, a good variety of them. They're gonna be, it's gonna be mixed up quite a bit. So uh, the idea behind that being you shouldn't ever be with a giant crowd of people that mm -hmm. are all trying to get to the same objective as you are. Right. Um, because nothing's more annoying in a game than that. Yeah. For me, anyway. Definitely. Uh, so. And that segues right into the next question, which is what kind of daily quests or, or what, what are the content, what, th what are they like? Um, there's, there's, uh, there's kill quests, mm -hmm. uh, which are going to be, you know, go get this number of NPCs and defeat them. There are um, what I would call more of a, like a fetch type quest mm -hmm. or a gathering quest where you have to um, go out and pick up certain things, like the Republic is looking for samples of a certain type of mushroom or fungus, or actually uh, Sarlacc drool, that, which is what we're seeing right there. That's, that's, that's a part that of it. Is. Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> which, honestly, I predict that's probably going to be one of the most hated ones because <laughs> it is not easy to jump around on those spines. I was um, just thinking the general idea of picking up Sarlacc drool was kind of gross. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Well, samples, you know, we got to learn about them. That's true. Um, and then the uh, boss, which is the special, bleh, special operations mm -hmm. uh, brigade guy or company, um, has kind of uh, a variety, slightly harder ones, oh. the most of them. Um, but he's going to be have have uh, you know appropriate level of rewards for his stuff. Cool. So, yeah. Awesome. Oh. So we just saw a picture of a rancor. Is he a bad guy? Can you tell us? Oh yeah, he's 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 well, a he's bad guy. He's not like a tame yeah. rancor that's no. your friend and he's going to follow you around. And no, not at all. Not okay. at all. Nope. <laughs> Any other enemies you want to tell us about in the zone? Um. Well, you know. Uh, I would actually say Matt can probably give us a, a little better. Perfect. Uh, he, he was involved in sure. the, the a lot of the, of yeah, it. well, they, they're all kind of upgraded. They have slightly better attacks. And why don't you? Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the Rancor in particular, we, we had to kind of spice up. And you'll, you'll see that, that the Rancor there is, is not the, the only sized Rancor in the zone. Yeah, there um, are different levels. So there, <laughs> there's some tiers going on there, and that's kind of true throughout the zone. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of the standard enemies you're, you're used to seeing will, will have all kinds of different tiers and fun little gadgets that you may or may not expect. Um, and, and beyond that, there's, uh, the, the, there was a screenshot early, or posted on the forums of the C1 High Singer. Uh, yeah, he's, a high he's singer. running around in there. Um, yep. uh, what else? There's. We saw the. Was it a pirate guy? Yeah, there's there are a bunch some, of pirates. Uh -huh. Yep. There's there's some pirates. Um, there's some uh, kind of upgraded uh, battle droids that have different special attacks on them. Yep. Um, so yeah, there there's a there's a good Plenty variety of things. Plenty to keep you things. busy for yeah. sure. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So it says here on my notes that Daily Quests award Felucia Mission Tokens. Felucia Mission Tokens, yeah. This is something new uh, that we are introducing with this update. And um, it's going to be a, a currency that you can use with some vendors uh, located in the, the Felucia Outpost, the Republic Outpost. Right. And there's going to be a variety of different things you can pick up. You can get uh, some unique gear sets. You can get um, a number of really cool housing items, mm -hmm. vehicle housing items. So there's a, an ATT, a lat, um, nice. one of Grievous' ships. Yeah, and th these are things that you can get as many as you want. You can spend as many of your tokens as you want on them. Um, okay. We also have a crafting uh, technician's workstation for mm -hmm. your house, which is something I know people have been asking for. They're going to be able to acquire that, as well as some uh, of the uh, small consumables. So, Great. yeah. Are we going to see new crafting recipes? Yes, not with this update, okay. but yes, Soon. Uh, we yeah, yep. <laughs> no, we're we're um, uh, we didn't want to release that with Felucia because yeah, we didn't want to muddle <laughs> everything. But yeah, well, no, there's going to be the items that have been getting added to the marketplace mm -hmm. over the last few months. Um, we'll be periodically updating the recipe okay. lists for crafting. For yeah, sure. I noticed pretty early on they they at least thought the players in general had found every recipe in game, so. Yeah, I don't know if we have any way of I, I actually measuring that, that, to too. tell you the truth. But they have a lot, so there's definitely. Um, I should post a total on the, f I should get the total number of cool. recipes so people can figure that out. Yeah, plenty uh, to keep them busy, but I'm sure they're eager <laughs> for fresh new stuff. Yeah, well, there's been a lot of cool new gear, so being able to craft that, I think, awesome. will, uh, will be good, so. So in the new zone, there aren't any instances. Right. You want to tell us about um, how we're going to keep that from being overcrowded and 
Yeah, there's, uh, well, first off, we moved away from mission instances. Mm -hmm. Um, just because that, uh, I actually wrote something on the forums about this a while ago, but to sum it up, uh, a mission instance is a really scripted contained experience. And once you've gone through it once, you pretty much know what to expect. Whereas world combat uh, tends to vary a little bit more mm -hmm. and tends to be a little more engaging uh, for, for all of us. Sure. I think that you've was kind of our- You've got roaming enemies more in this yeah. zone than before too. Yeah, it's so a, it's, you, don't, a you don't know what to expect more yeah. or less, yeah. Um, so uh, what we did though is we, we did um, lower the population cap in the zone mm -hmm. so that you're not, that relates directly to the, the questing mm -hmm. stuff. We don't want you to have to fight uh, other players in addition to worrying about fighting enemies right. to be able to complete your objectives. So. Awesome. Yeah. So let's go ahead and talk about a little bit of art stuff, get yeah, yeah, Matt sure. talking. So can you tell us how many different animations were required? or Felucia in comparison with uh, the prior zones like Karlak and Umbara? Sure, this zone was actually a little lighter than Umbara um, and definitely um, than Karlak. The, the animation load was mostly geared towards making like the Rancors um, not quite as repetitive when you kill them. Mm -hmm. um, so some more animations for that. Um, getting the High Singer so that um, it will attack you because before we only had a uh, hollow projection for that, so right. like mm -hmm. giving some new animations for that. And then just taking some of, some of the well-known enemies and giving them some special attacks, um, mm. just so kind of keep the players on the toes. A little bit of spice, yeah, spice yeah. things up. Punching, throwing grenades, that type of thing. Sure. Yeah. So were there any animations that were more challenging than others? Um, I, I'd say actually probably the one that required a the most tweaking for me was, um, like I, I mentioned earlier, that there's multiple sizes of Rancors. Mm -hmm. um, and when you have something really big, and in some cases, really small, um, <laughs> making them die in a way that makes it feel correct right. uh, for the size of the character can be challenging. Yeah. Um, so that was probably the, the one that most required the most tweaking to get it to feel right. And that's one of those things that we probably most of the players don't ever think about. They just think it's the same thing, copied and pasted and resized. Yeah, you only right? notice it if it's not right. Right. Yeah, exactly. a lot of animation, you know, it, if it looks right, I've done, and you, you don't even notice that it's happening, I've done my job right. Yeah. And as soon as you see things breaking or not feeling right, then <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my next question is if there are any modifications made to the animations after they're completed to accommodate the design work that's been done. Sure. Um, a lot of of Venoms, like I'll throw them out there. Um, so we, I just animate in Maya, mm -hmm. and then um, it gets exported and goes through an entire export process to get in game. Right. And because I'm doing it in Maya, you know, I'm seeing things without clothes um, because it could be equipped with any kind of gear, mm -hmm. without weapons or at least the exact weapon that they're using in some cases. Yeah. And so there is definitely some back and forth to tweak things down to make it look right. I can imagine seeing it for the first time in its actual environment world and the items it interacts with. Is yeah, you kind of have uh, the, the first process of going through making sure it looks right and then you're actually taking it into the game and, and mm -hmm. doing that again. Yeah. So let's talk about the technical parts of your job. Um, aside from animation, what else do you get to do? Um, well, I'm a, a technical artist and um, I also work on the effects. The technical artist stuff is more su supporting the team as a whole, mm -hmm. um, the other artists, whether they be character artists or environmental artists or whatever, um, to make sure their tools are working, that their exporting is, is flowing through right. as it should. Um, Very important stuff. Yes, if yeah, he if makes that, everything work. Yeah. <laughs> we would be in a lot of trouble without Matt. Usually when I hear crying, it's time for me to step in. Um, and then for, as far as the effects go, um, that's, you know, obviously all the, uh, the effects that you see in game from lightsaber trails to um, mists to you know, bullets to charge up stuff to right. any kind of things. Well, I was just going to ask, and I didn't realize that my next question was the same thing in my brain, so that's good. <laughs> um, let's talk about the special effects and the effects that you did for Felucia. And then one side question I have is for like audio and where that comes from. Okay, uh, first for Felucia, um, there were some environmental effects. Uh, for example, some of the sarlacc goo um, that you have to uh, get to make it look a little bit more toxic. There's um, kind of a, a toxic appearance all around mm -hmm. it. In um, one of the collection quests, you're going to be going through um, Rancor food remains. Oh, and, um, bone and, piles. Yeah, yeah, bone piles. And uh, in there, you'll see you know, flies buzzing around. 
Uh, one of my favorite areas is actually um, a cave that's tucked away in the zone. And in there, um, I got to kind of really give it a, a certain atmosphere uh -huh. with, um, with it giving kind of the walls a sheen and um, drips coming off the ceiling and that kind of stuff. So yeah, it, it looks really excellent. That it's sounds incredibly creepy. I may need a friend to go through this with me for sure. The, ca the cave <laughs> is actually home to uh, one of the, one of the, basically the granddaddy rancor. Mm -hmm. And um, go in there I, with a party. I, w I, would, yeah. <laughs> I would caution people not to attack him in his home cave. Good to know. Uh, you'll probably get a nasty surprise if you do. Yeah. Write that one down, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so for both of you guys, uh, let's cover your favorite parts of Felucia. Um, Want to go? Sure. Yeah. Um, aside <laughs> from the cave, since I already spoke about that, the Rancor kit, uh, Pit is a lot of fun. Um, it, it's its its own mini game getting out of it. But, Rancor um, and Scar Sarlacc Or Sarlacc Pit. pit. Yeah, That's yeah, what I meant. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. Rancor no. Pit. <laughs> <laughs> No, um, but yes, the the Sarlacc pit it can be its own mini game getting out of it. But um, that, that's probably one of my more favorite cool. places to hang out. Um, uh, there's a nice limb farm, mm -hmm. which is actually where the pirates are, uh -huh. and I I just love the look of that area. I think that's one of the real. I think it's one of the coolest areas. And you haven't shown uh, us a sneak zone. peek of that one yet. Um, there was actually a it? picture that went up uh, just recently of one of the pirates standing in right. the Nyselim farm area. So I remember that now because everybody was kind of, uh, it's it's interesting reading their reactions to the teasers because yeah, I, I they really look for the little details. Yeah, I clarified that it was indeed a bad guy. He's he's not an ally. He's not pirate. a nice pirate. He's not, <laughs> nice, <laughs> not a nice pirate at all. Awesome. So we'll see. Um, I had one more question for you. Mm. Let's talk rewards. What kind of rewards can we get for turning in Felucia mission tokens? Uh, well, we already went over the, the, the gear sets and mm -hmm. everything. So um, uh, so there's two different gear sets. There, um, there's a kind of a Sith-themed one. There's a uh, trooper-themed one. Awesome. Uh, okay. there both are sides covered. We're both good. sides <laughs> covered there, yep. Um, there are six different ships mm -hmm. available for your houses uh, and you can get as many of those as you can afford. Right. Um, there is a technician's workstation for your house um, and then there are uh, small med packs, uh, force focus and field kits awesome. available right now. So, so plenty of stuff for everybody. Yeah, a, a lot of stuff and some of them are going to take more time. I mean you're going to need to do your dailies for a, a good number of days or weeks depending on what you want to purchase. Right. So. Great. I think that is about all the questions we have. Do we have any questions from the audience? Oh, are there rewards for members only? No. No, the rewards can be gotten by, mem by members or non-members. Members are going to gain uh, one additional Felucian mission token per day. So in a week you'll have seven more tokens than a non-member will, but the rewards can be obtained and earned by anyone. It's just that we're giving members the opportunity to earn them a little bit faster mm -hmm. is all. So a little bonus reward for Yeah. Yep. For yep. Dedication. How many quests are there and are they repeatable? They are all repeatable. Um, and of the so you're gonna be doing three a day of the dailies and those um, there is about 20 of those, 20 ish of mm -hmm. those that are gonna cycle. So you're gonna randomly be assigned uh, one from each NPC. And is that three if you're a member and two if you're not? Cause of the Correct, yeah, 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 sorry, yeah. And then the um, the world bosses, there's two world bosses, which is the High Singer and the Rancor, uh, the Granddaddy Rancor mm -hmm. guy, Scratch is his name. When you kill them, they will actually give you a quest to turn in that'll give you two additional mission tokens. You can only turn that in once a week, though. Oh. So you're not going to be able to farm him repeatedly right. every day. That's fair. Um, which, honestly, they're tough to kill. So doing yeah. it once a week is about all you're yeah. going to want to do <laughs> as well. Um, sounds similar to some other games I've Yeah, played. yeah, exactly, you know. Um, so, yeah. Oh, great. That's those. Is there anything else? We are no, good. We're, we're, out, we're out, of out of time. OK. Perfect. Cool. Well, I want to thank you guys both for joining us today. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you guys for tuning in for the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures combat webcast. Next week, we have three webcasts or online events for you to watch, which are the Planet Side 2 Command Center, 
There's going to be an EverQuest 2 webcast about the upcoming game update, Cobalt Scar, and also a play session with our Poxnora development team. So we hope you'll join us for those. Thanks for tuning in today, and have a great weekend. Thanks. Bye. 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 <laughs>